This video is going to be about the visual field and visual field testing. The visual field is everything that you can see in your field of view. When you're looking at something right in front of you, you're using your macula, but also you can see things off to the side of you and that's using your peripheral retina. During visual field testing, we test all points of your visual field to see if there's any defect, like if there's any part of your field that's missing, blurry, distorted or obscured in any way. Visual field defects can come from a multitude of different diseases or problems of the macula, the peripheral retina, the optic nerve, or the brain. And the way the defects manifest themselves, such as blurriness versus missing, or exactly what part of the visual field is missing, can localize where the problem might be. One of the grossest forms we have to test visual fields is the confrontation field. So the sequence usually goes like this. I have you cover up your left eye and I say while looking at my nose is any part of my face missing or blurry and that's to check to see if there could be any macular damage. And then I say while still looking at my nose, count, tell me how many fingers I'm holding up and I'll present fingers. And then I'll present them simultaneously to see if when both parts of the visual field are stimulated at the same time, if you favor one part of the field over the other. And then I'll go out farther. Now I'm just seeing my hand with my peripheral vision. So then I present the number. And I keep going. And this whole time I'm just seeing my hand from my peripheral vision before I present the number. Then at the end I might do another simultaneous test and I'll hold up both of my hands and I'll have you continue to look at my nose and tell me if either one of my hands looks darker than the other. And when we do that both hands serve as a larger plane so that you're able to make better judgments on brightness. If we find anything on that grossly, then we want to take it a step further and do some other more precise testing. We would also go on to this further testing if we see anything of concern in the optic nerve head or the macula or the peripheral retina. And if we go to the more precise testing, we'll be able to see even smaller defects that you wouldn't be able to see on the gross confrontation fields that I showed. One machine that's commonly found in optometrist's office is the FDT, or the Frequency Doubling Technology. This is the one where you look in and you see a dot in the center, and you keep fixated on that dot, and then it presents wiggly lines off to the side and in the center. It's usually just done as a screening, but there's, you could also do it as a more specific test. Another one that's commonly seen is the Humphrey visual field perimeter and there's a lot of different settings that you can do for this but it typically takes longer than the FDT. This is the one where there's a light that you look at in the center and then it presents lights of different brightnesses in different points in the field and it's like you're putting your face into a bowl. You also have to wear an eye patch for that. This is what we see while you're taking the test. We can see a little picture of your eye so we can tell if you're looking at the center or cheating. And during the test, all of these little spots will turn into numbers. So both of these, the FDT and the Humphrey visual field, is something that people remember as like a video game type thing because you have a button that you press whenever you see some whenever you see the wavy lines or the light. So those are some common visual field tests that we do. Another one is called the Goldman visual field, and that's much, much less common. That's like an even bigger bowl, and it's even more precise. After you're done with the test, there's a printout of your results, and the results compare how your visual field is compared to someone in your demographic. The different defects can give clues to what the cause might be and also where on the visual pathway the problem is. 
Also, if you do multiple of these over the course of some years, it can compare it over the years to see if it's getting better or worse. So that's just a little bit about visual fields and why it might feel like you're playing video games in the, at the optometrist's office.